Welcome, welcome back to Puzzle in the Reeds. Boy, I should take that again, seeing as I fucked up the first word. But uh, nope, nope, we're going with it because my brain is dead and I don't know what to do about this stupid puzzle. I've almost got it down, but it just doesn't want to be beaten. And the attrition I'm having to go through to attempt it is just terrible. Now back over, hit it once, wait. Get up, follow her slowly. Don't press the door too fast, because otherwise she'll just come and get us. All right, now we can knock on it. Now we go behind the stump. She zips by, sniffs once and keeps going. We have to make this quick, otherwise she'll turn around too fast. I don't know. That's worked before. This game is far too punishing in its demanded precision for... I, I, I don't know. I need to wait longer at the door so she gets further down the path to the right. Okay, run, 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 run into these bushes. Man, she turns around fast though. Do this again, maybe? Please don't catch me. Please don't catch me here. Knock the last time. Please. Oh, oh, okay. All right, I don't have control, so I assume I didn't fuck it up. Oh, Jesus, that hurt my eyes. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Wizard. It's been so long since I met another person in this desolate, gloomy places. In this desolate, gloomy places. All right. Another few moments, and we would never have met. Hello, I'm... Boy, I have an unspoken agreement with the locals to maintain peaceful relations with them. Okay. The entire swamp is full of vile, soulless creatures. One of which just tried to catch you for its dinner. Sorry. Never mind. Sometimes you need to remind these beasts who rules the swamp. What was the complaint? Are you complaining that you had to defend me? Or are you happy that I showed up? Or are you mad that I showed up because you had to come out of your house, put on pants or something? Why did you choose to live in such an awful place? Good question. I wanted to be alone. Natural surroundings here act as a barrier against the outside world. Okay. But by some miracle, you managed to reach my house. The spirits of the forest told me to jump down a well. I not come to these green parts for no reason. I'm assuming I'm actually dead. I came to ask for help. The sorceress you turned into a butterfly has gained power and has possessed my sister's mind. 
She wants to destroy the whole forest. The spirit said that only you can stop her. I couldn't back then, and I won't be able to this time either. What that loss has done to you, my beautiful daughter, who was so capable from such a young age, is the butterfly. Okay. It all began when she was a child. Wolf savaged her mother during a walk in the forest. And my daughter only survived thanks to a passing hunter. Okay. That experience changed her deeply. She came to hate the forest and swore to destroy all its inhabitants in the most painful way. Literally only one thing has happened to support that, and that was the, like, other little girl tormenting the little thing in the hole. Uh, in every, pretty much every other case in this game, she's just been killing, well, mostly young boys, or generally humans. Um, and also there was the owl, there were the owls for some reason. We no longer spoke. She spent all her time engrossed in dark tones, creating spells. Time passed, and for a moment, I thought my little girl had forgotten her terrifying plans. She married, had children, and then the forest made itself known once more. Her son was attacked by a bear. The beast only slightly wounded the child. But that was enough to awaken the evil slumbering within her. Boy, women sure are evil when bears attack their children. <laughs> what are you saying, game? I noticed the change, and I realized I had to act. Hey, my daughter has trauma from her, her mother being killed. I better seal her in a butterfly. Because she's an evil sorceress. That's the correct conclusion to come to. The only thing I could do was transform my daughter into a harmless creature. A butterfly, for instance. The only thing I could do. She loved butterflies when she was little. And then I had to lock her in the magical cage that would drain her dark power and bring peace to her troubled soul forever. I could not bring myself to put her in the cage. Your story, it's making me feel strange. But does that mean you still have the cage and you can save the forest? Yes, I still have it. You only need to open the cage next to her. The magic will do the rest. Okay. Do you know? That's very convenient. My daughter is now. I came across her in a cave. Oh, we're literally just gonna go back Save to the cave? Away. Now. Focus. And oh, he's gonna teleport us there no less. Wow. Are you crying, bro? Why? Nobody cries in this game for explicable reasons. I mean, it's it's not inexplicable. It's just bizarre. Is this the end of the game? Surely not. What? My boy, you have returned. 
It's so wonderful to see the whole family reunited. Wait, is the sorceress our mother? Father, what's going on? Wait a minute. Wasn't there a story at the beginning of the... At the very beginning of the game? Wasn't our mother... Wait, no. At the beginning of the game, we were attacked by a bear. My son, we thought your poor mother died. But we were wrong. And he was killed by a bear. Well, it was a zombie bear, but... She took on a different form. But even in this incredibly fragile body, she was able to find us. And reunite our family. Lars, look at the amazing crown we prepared specially for you. You have spent long enough rolling in the dirt with the rabble, my boy. Now the time has come to rule. Mother, but all these killings, it's madness. The girls are only cleansing the forest of its blight. I need a clean slate on which we can build our wonderful new world together. What is that strange cage you're holding? Mother, forgive me. This cage is for you. Wait, so it is supposed to be his mother for real? It's not just the sorceress pr tricking these two into being believing? Son, put the cage down. Papa, please wake up. We know killers. Brother, don't do anything foolish. I don't want to lose mother all over again. You don't know what you're doing. Our mother is gone. Are... Is this a choice? Oh my god, are you for real? Mother, will I forget who I am? Don't be afraid, my son. You will not forget yourself. Let me help you become older and wiser. Mama, I missed you. My little one, come over to us. Is that what I picked? Oh, yeah, I guess the prompt was to break it. Oh, jeez. Cool. Fun times. Okay. Let's... Real quick. I am assuming I can just try this again quickly. I can't believe that's the actual... Wait, is that the actual end no matter... I thought maybe if I picked the other choice it would keep going, but that appears to be the last opportunity to do anything. Is this the end of the game no matter what? <sighs> Why is this game? And why do I have to manually walk through this every time? Boy, you have returned. Father. My son. She. Lara. You have. Mother. The girl. What is that? Mother. Son. Papa, please wait. Brother. You don't. Alright, we'll go this way. I genuinely expected from this game that they, she'd be like screaming the whole time. No! 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 Or some shit. Wait, why are these two saved? I don't understand. The other, the other girl died when I took the, uh, the crown off. Is it because the... Sorceress is trapped now? Was it our mother? Wow, that's just the end of the game.
<sighs> okay. There's a lot more content in this game in, than the first one. There's some nicer art. Overall, there's a lot more polish. However, it is still a clunky mess. The puzzles are more contrived and not really any more interesting. It's just it's the old complexity versus depth thing. They're not really adding anything. And there are some more, much more frustrating things than the first game. Um, like all of the puzzles that you can only figure out by either some truly obscure reading of the, of the environment or uh, even worse, the trial and error to figure out the result. Um, oh, it's not great. Uh, I can't possibly recommend it. Um, th thank you. Thank you for the gift. Um, but why why have you done this to me oh god oh lord all right well the credits are just going to loop um this has been creepy tale too and it's taken a lot out of me i'll see you guys for something different next time <laughs>